In this video, we will be studying about the problem of double counting in your value added method. See, the problem of double counting means the problem of estimating the value of goods and services. more than once yeah. so while estimating the national income by using uh, this method we get a problem of double counting let's suppose we've taken the farmer he was selling one ton of wheat at rupees 400 then we know the floor mill he was selling the floor at rupees 600 then the baker who was selling the uh, bread at rupees 800 and then the shopkeeper who was selling it for rupees let's say 1000 now well what value addition method says that whatever is the value of contribution by each sector you add that for in this way you have 4000 plus 600 plus 800 plus 1000 which includes your 2800 rupees comes your GDP at MP according to this method see your farmer and then your farmer gives wheat to the floor mill in this you have value of wheat that is 400 plus your processes that value addition you did then in this there is a value of 600 included that is 400 of of wheat 200 of floor plus 400 was uh, 200 was your value addition in this now in this thousand rupees 400 is the value of floor that is included 200 is the value of uh, 400 is the value of wheat 200 is the value of floor then 200 is the value of bread and 200 is the value addition that is made by a shopkeeper now let's see how many times we have considered a value of uh, wheat in this case one 2, 3 and this value 4. Now see, a floor, one time this value addition, this and this. And after that baker, this value addition and this value addition. So there is a double of counting. You are counting it again and again. You are counting the value of wheat in case of floor mill as well, in case of baker as well, in case of shopkeeper as well. So this is the problem of double counting, the value of estimating goods and services more than one. In this we have uh, estimate the value of wheat three times, right, value of floor two times, value of baker again, uh, value of floor three times, value of baker two times. So this is double counting. So this is the problem in the value added method. So how to avoid this double counting? Now how to avoid this value of double counting? In this, if we are adding all these, we are counting the value of goods and services more than once. The first method is your final output method. Which means your final output is your rupees 1000. So you rupees 1000 you will take in the value addition only. Right? Second is your value added method, which means your sales minus your intermediate consumption. That is only you will add the value like this is 600, 400 was your intermediate, only 200 is the value that is added. Here your 800 was your sale. 600 was your raw material, only 200 was your value added. 
Here also your value addition is of 200 and here your wheat costs 400. So this total becomes your rupees 1000. So either you can choose this method, your final output method or your value added method in order to avoid your double counting problem in your product method or the value added method. I hope you have completely understood this. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.